joining us. We have been working so hard for the past 10 days to put this gorgeous show together. There are so many thank yous to give. First of all, to all of our amazing specialists, Steven and Brandon and the band, for putting it together. Not four, five, no, not even six songs, seven entire songs that the kids have learned in 10 days. Thank you. And Sophie and all of Camp 2 for helping us with la 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 this is my scenery. Thank you. And last but very much not least, thank you so much to Angelique. Thank you for your amazing costuming for the forest people. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you brought your swim trunks. I hope you brought your bathing caps because I love that hair. And your goggles. But leave your ears plugs at home because we got some great music coming your way. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready, hold your breath, because we are going down, down, down to Witness Town. We are in Atlanticus, ladies and gentlemen, where the mermaids frolic and the crabs do what crabs do. Can I please have my beautiful dolphins? Excellent. Atlanticus, thank you. Go. Around. But fortunately for her, 
she was able to hypnotize them without her wand, just her beautiful voice. So she did. Wait, no. She swiftly ordered them to war! So they got ready and made their preparations. But first, they had to dance. So they quickly got to work. They were like, Ooga Ooga, how do we destroy Atlanticus? So they had seen what what havoc forest fires had wreaked in the past. So they decided we're gonna set the ocean on fire! So they built a big fire and started throwing fire into the ocean. Oh Ooga Ooga they thought. Fire, big, hot. Ouch! Mermaid bird, yes. Ooga. More fire. It wasn't working! So they made more fire! Ooga Ooga! Oh, Ooga Ooga! The fire was getting big, but the ocean was so very, very large! This was a hopeless case, they realized. So, they said, this is not working! Ooga Ooga! Ooga Ooga! Let me hear you! How confused are you? Ooga Ooga! Yes! <laughs> but then one of the cavemen, one of the more smarter cavemen, had a very smart idea. hoping the mermaids would eat them and fall asleep. They threw all the lobsters into the ocean. Yes, they threw them into the ocean. The thing is, mermaids are vegan. <laughs> so when the mermaids swam out after sleeping, they found all the lobsters and were like, hey, wow, lobsters, we love dancing with lobsters. And so they danced with the lobsters. The cavemen kept throwing lobsters in, but it just wasn't working. Then, <laughs> Monster Caveman had a brilliant idea after they noticed that wasn't working. Oh, well, I'm no beacon fish. Ah, Monster Caveman was a very good fisherman. So they all went to get their fishing poles. They stood on the beach. They cast their fishing rods out and held them high. All the mermaids, being very helpful creatures, of course, saw the fishing hooks and thought, oh, whoever lost their lobsters must be coming back for them. So they helpfully put them back on the fish hooks. As the cavemen caught more and more lobsters, they got very excited. Let me see how excited you are. Ooga, 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 ooga. The thing about cavemen is they love the taste of lobster meat. So they got very excited and ate all the lobsters. They'd forgotten that they filled them with sleepy time flowers, so they fell asleep for a week. The mermaids were very happy and they went back to sleep. Meanwhile, 
Eva Bella was very angry about the lack of progress that the cavemen were having. Yes, she kept yelling at them, but they just wouldn't wake up. So she walked deep into the forest. Let me see you walk, Eva Bella. Walk deep into the forest to ponder her options. <laughs> Meanwhile, while the mermaids napped, the custodian of the ocean came and swept deep in the forest. <laughs> deep in the forest, Eva Bella, in the middle of her thoughts, found a little egg, and it hatched under her gaze. <laughs> Eva Bella was very confused by this little sea snake that had just hatched out of the egg. But then she thought to herself, Well, if the snake isn't a pretty, maybe it can fly on that land and get warm. Ah, what is the sea snake? Amphibious. Very good. So what does that mean? What can she do? She can go fly on that land and get warm. So she quickly sent the sea snake into the ocean. Run my wand. Yes. It swam swiftly to Atlanticus, where, when she arrived, all the mermaids were having an amazing dance party! <laughs> but then they stopped! They looked around! They noticed! Oh my gosh! Where's the king? Where's the king? Wait, can we have a dance party without our king? King. <laughs> Once King Titanius was proudly situated, they continued. The sea snake looked at them partying and thought to herself, they have so much fun, why would anybody want to hurt them? And they saw the sea snake and said, hey sea snake! So she joined them, and they quickly gave her a guitar because they could tell in her eyes she's a rock legend god just waiting to happen. That's your car! So they all sang a song together. Hey, what did you do? Ready to do it? King Titanius' best friend. And so, they all bowed in front of the wise manatee. Oh, wise manatee.
So the first mermaid asked her question to the manatee. How do flowers grow without the smell? Because that's how they were genetically engineered. No. <laughs> that's how nature is. And that's how nature is. Because that's how nature is. You just have What was that? Why you have to think with your brain? Why do you have to think with your brain? Everyone, why do you have to think with your brain? Because your brain like your brain breaks that up. You are even wiser than the wise manatee, said the wise manatee. And then the wise manatee looked at the little sea snake and said, You'll have a troubled look in your eyes. What is wrong? What bothers you? I made a promise that I don't think I should keep it. I don't think I should tell you either. So the manatee looked at her very seriously and said, You can either be part of the problem or part of the solution. The choice is yours. You just have
very confidently to the max. continues to this day, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is what causes ocean storms, believe it or not. It's a BBC documentary. All the mermaids looked around and saw that the evil sea creature was gone forever, and rejoiced and said, let's have the best dance party ever! So they went up and danced, yeah. and they got the play. They took their dance positions. They waved at their mom and dad. 